Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, severe weather, solar flare cycles relevant to Earth, Bepi Colombo on its way to Mercury, and electroquakes. We're starting with our star over at spaceweathernews.com, finding the last 24 hours with the dark coronal holes turning across. Few bright spots on the sphere, but no solar flares or CMEs from the new sunspots, despite their continued growth and development over the last day. This one has exited Earth-facing position, and any CME would likely not hit Earth. It does indicate that the sun's got some magnetic power still churning up for the next sunspot cycle. These coronal holes are going to deliver intensified solar wind today or tonight. We do expect a rise to the KP index, which will finally end the moderate to high cosmic ray health alert, which has been ongoing for three days. Let's kick off weather, looking ahead with the Weather Channel's winter forecast. Weather.com's front page has a link to a picture of winter painted ugly for the eastern half of the country, especially in February, which is already brutal in the east. Let's go next to New Zealand. You knew that with the footage coming out of Australia the previous three days that these storms were still going to have power across the water in the islands. With these tornadoes came heavy hail, reportedly up to the size of golf balls. Reporting a mass aviary die-off in northwest Oregon, one bald eagle, one red-tailed hawk, both protected species and surrounded by dozens of starling and blackbirds. They said it's ultra-rare to see so many in such a small area with multiple bird species involved. Let's go to space, our star, and let's talk about return intervals for major solar storms, the disruptor event like the 2003 Halloween storms, and the game over super flare scenario for global power grids. It's looking like the return periods are about 40 and 100 years, which puts us as having two smaller eruptions and one major one due later this century, although one couldn't say we're overdue or really even at the line in their analysis. Let's go next to Mercury. Well, the trip anyway. Bepi Colombo has already begun its seven-year journey to the inner solar system, and it will face solar pressures we can't even imagine here on Earth or even in orbit. We'll release a Japanese orbiter to complement the European, and it's using those cool ion thrusters to build speed over time. Here you can see an animation of its orbit coming over the majority of a decade. Numerous slingshots using Earth, Venus, and Mercury itself will lead to an arrival in late 2025, its final destination. Two electroquake stories that help you hone your detail radar. First, this paper confirms the ionospheric electric anomaly above Ecuador in the 10 days prior to their major 2016 megathrust earthquake. While all that is legit, they included the quiet sun as part of their confirmation that the anomaly was not solar driven. The community still doesn't imagine it could be both. That's a mistake. We also have confirmation of something we said in our 2017 conference presentation on predicting earthquakes, that the soil moisture could influence pre-seismic signals. This is why using OLR is so difficult. You have to account for the last four days of rain across the entire planet. Why not learn how hundreds of people have begun predicting earthquakes, and then why not give it a try yourself? Last note here, folks. In yesterday's podcast, Fly on the Wall, we broke out what we hope is an excellent meeting place for mainstream science and their dark matter paradigm, coming together with those in the electrical theories and preference. With both NASA and Princeton jumping ship to the plasma universe, we break down what it all means and why it is indeed their version of the electric. It is a dusty electromagnetic plasma universe. Folks, today is the last day to enter the drawing for four free nights at Observing the Frontier, about four times the cost of the actual admission ticket. Everyone registered by midnight tonight is entered to win their hotel stay for free. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.